Okay, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial of how to install multiple versions of Firefox. Um, we're going to first go to the downloads page, which uh, I've chosen version 14 for the install of the older version. Uh, UK version, download DXE. Can you wait for it to download? Shouldn't take too long on this connection. Okay, right, let's uh, run that. Extracting. Okay, here we're just going to do a custom install. Uh, and we'll give it a custom path as well. So we'll actually call it Firefox 14. Because uh, we're going to install it to a different location for the latest version. We don't want this install maintenance service that checks and tries to do updates in the background. Um, we'll just also put a desktop shortcut and don't do a default browser setting. Um, we'll install that. Okay, we won't launch that yet. Um, there's a reason for that. Is we need to disable the internet. Because uh, as soon as you open Firefox, it will basically try to update itself. And we don't want to do that. So, we'll close that. So the internet's disabled. And take this setting here. This is the key part that basically makes Firefox start up with its own profile separated from the other install that we'll do. You can do more than one install of Firefox. So you take the shortcut, you go properties, and you add the user account to the link. So when you double click it now, you can uh, create a profile and put the same name in as uh, what's in the shortcut link. Um, do pause the video. I do, I, this is quite fast that I'm going through this if you can't read it quick enough. Uh, make sure it's not default browser and then open the menu up, right click there. Okay, go to options, tools, options, advance and update. Right, that's it. Change it so it never updates. Okay, so that's cool. Close tabs. Yeah, we don't need the warning there. Okay, now there we go. We've got Firefox 14 and it's not updating itself automatically. So that's the first thing. So let's enable the internet again. So right click, enable. Okay, let's close that. And we'll then just go to the standard uh, Firefox download page. I'll put the uh, links uh, that I've got on this uh, text file in the uh, description below the video. Okay, so yep, download Firefox, nice, run that. Okay, uh, don't mind. we've got to customize this again, so don't make Firefox default. Uh, we're just going to do a desktop icon for now. Um, and yep, we don't mind updating this one because this is going to be the latest one. We do need to change the path back to the default path. So we'll remove 14 from the end of that. So we're installing to a different folder than the other Firefox. So that's downloading and installing. Okay, nearly there. Okay, right, we've got some add-ons here. I don't know why it's asking for that, but let's just I'll try and update them anyway. Get rid of that, finish. Okay, cool, so that's the latest one installed. Um, you could just run off the default um, user that Firefox starts with, but I sort of noticed some misbehaving going on when opening browsers. You see you get this um, going on with checking for the add-ons and stuff. Uh, right, let's close that. Hang on. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's make sure it's still Firefox 14. Yep, that's okay. Okay, we've got the compatibility add ons going on again. Let's close that. Okay, update. Right, cool. So Firefox 22. Uh, and just to keep this clean, make sure it's got a complete, unique, separate user. So any other installs. Don't get mixed up with this one. So we change the shortcut link. So it was right click on the shortcut and go to properties there. Add the user 
now when you double click it you can create a new profile you see the old ones there Firefox 14 now copy this uh, username that we're going for which is just Firefox and this will be linked to the latest one so start Firefox make sure it's uh, yeah it doesn't ask on startup and yeah we'll leave that as uh, not the default browser for now uh, right click open the menu go tools no sorry about us okay and that's it I think pretty much uh, why we got no it's still checking for the add-ons uh, what's the reason for that I think it just needs to update a few add-ons right once you do it a couple of times Okay, so let's see, that one's open, and this one's open at the same time, and you've got two separate Firefoxes running. Cool, Firefox 14, and yep, that's it, job done.